Gave me good insight. I love when the chat gives me good insight. But now we're about to see. Do you like dumb red? Because I love dumb. And this is about to get violent Ken versus some, you know, some good chicken right now. Oh my goodness. I, I'm just waiting for some Q-bombs. Please, Necromancer, give it to me. And, re and just like that, that's the first Q-bomb we're going to see today. I hope Integra is familiar with this matchup. Because this is definitely not a matchup you can just get by. Oh my goodness. Very good win. And just like that. Oh no. You, you definitely do not want to focus against Integra. He's very good at blowing up folks. That's... And just like that, we have Integra take round one. Very convincing round one also. Reacted and controlled all the situations. You have to be careful when you jump at uh, at uh, El Fuerte because the Q-bomb, which is his chest bomb, anti is as well. So you cannot just be willy-nilly jumping around and hoping to get by like you did in the previous versions. Now you can get anti air with a chest bomb. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and uh, wake up close stand heavy kid. Yes, I wanted dump and I got dump. So I am really liking this right now. Basically, it's a cat of a cat. Now. It's a game of cat and mouse. But I can't tell who's a cat and who's a mouse. This is very dangerous right now. Oh, oh wow! Went for the gimmick. This is dangerous right now. And he goes for the frontal splash. You never see that move almost always blocked. It's really hard to block the frontal splash. Because it's not expected. And very good by Necromantic. Good adjustment. And so... Wow. Integra just blowing up focus attack really well. He drops his link. Necromantic with a crouch attack. Gets out of the corner. Expertly. And... Uh, a lot of Forte players, when you play against Forte, you need to know. When he runs, it's all bells and whistles, as my good friend Spadwag would say. But when he gets to the air, that's when you have to decide. Oh, Integra getting really impatient right now. He could have paid dearly for that. Oh, no. Oh, he didn't go for the loop. There's a lot of things happening right now. And they're just trying to exert their dominance on each other. Integra is doing a great job by spacing, but he has to be careful because that ultra one can be lethal. Oh, good stand medium kick by Necromantic. Uh, and just like that, that's how he ended the game. You see, the, he just, right like that, he had to be really careful on the fireball because just one ultra and you would lose the game. And he baited that out expertly. See, you could tell on the buffer when he was running. Yeah, Necro Necromantic is definitely a really strong uh, El Fuerte player. Very strong. And uh, I would say that El, El Fuerte is one of those characters that has benefited greatly from the design of the game over time. He, you know, the Ultra Street Fighter 4 fav favors a lot of high risk, high reward characters in general. And he's able to just put you in that mix up game and he can eliminate a lot of the Street Fighter aspect of the game. People talk about his damage being low, but that is definitely not the case anymore. So he he, he has benefited greatly from Ultra Street Fighter 4, and I and I, I personally think that Ultra Street Fighter in Ultra Street Fighter 4 that Fuerte is definitely top 10 in the game, definitely without a doubt, without a doubt, around six seven in the game. And so he's very very strong, and this is not because of Pepe Day, it's because the design of the character. Is very hard to deal with. You're, 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 you're designed to catch a character that can run away and if you try to jump or if you try to get in with a lot of disrespect through dashing or uh, other means, you can get uppercut full screen by a chest bump. The anti is. So, you know, he plays by his own rules. I think Pro Fluke would agree. Pro Fluke would agree. He is top 10. If you could tell me one matchup where he loses to very badly outside of Hakan, like definitely that he cannot win, please enlighten me.
Ultimate Champion. Fight! Okay, and we're getting right into it. And then Tegra makes the adjustment immediately, going to the cowboy outfit. <laughs> Excellent adjustment. You know, being from Texas. That move is a double hit. I believe that's the standing heavy kick. The drop kick. And the Necromantic is playing very controlled. But uh, Integra has not been... Oh, they definitely do not want to be doing this. Oh, no. What a, what a bait, though. Oh, and Integra is coming back. Oh, he tries to bait the Q-Bomb right there. And playing very patient, Necromantic. Oh, no. Oh, and he caught him. What an excellent focus attack right there. Excellent focus attack. Very good spacing on both players. Good, good focus attack usage by Integra and good reactions right there to stop the jump off the wall. He really needs to capitalize on the on the mix-up game right now. Oh, he definitely did not want to put uh, himself in the corner against Fuerte. No punish on the Q-Bomb. I think that's a telling sign for uh, Necromantic to go to. Oh, wow. Really nice. Uh... Oh, did he catch it? Oh, he didn't. And just like that, you see Integra tie it up at one to one. Really good game by Integra. Very solid. And he did his thing right there. Yeah, very, very good adjustment by Integra. He, did, I think there's one thing he should clean up is that he should never let Forte. You know, he should have willingly put himself in the corner. Forte does not get bodied by Rose. Definitely no. Yeah, the twins I can see though. The twins definitely. The craziest and wildest fighters have assembled from around the world to join in the fight. But only one. El Fuerte is not a good guy. He he needs to stop cooking food. Yeah, I'm serious. Pro Fluke. Pro Fluke, he does not get bodied by Rose. And I think the adjustment needed to be made by Necromantic. He just needs to play more, uh, he needs to exert more of his dominance in the game. Uh, Integra did not punish the Quesadilla bomb, so he needs to be able to establish that. If you cannot punish this move, then I'm just going to keep doing it. Fists will fly at this location. The battle has begun. <laughs> Oh man, you're Europe, Europe with the with the check right now. And here we go. Integra definitely being ramshotted by Necromantic. He did not blow up that focus right there, which is unusual for the way Integra has been playing recently. You know, you see right there, he, he's 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 done so well at dealing with the focus attacks. And I think uh, there's a habit that Necromantic has is that he tries to use the EX uppercut to get out of many situations, blocking situations. And just like that, see, he used it, he used it again, but there was no, no direct punish. Integra has to calm down because of the ultra, ultra, he can fish for the ultra, and he can use a lot of, uh, you know, just to be more patient. Ooh, could have been really bad right there if he went for the ultra. But Integra is staying solid and managing to hold on to the lead. Oh, and he, he, he opts to run out of the, the pressure, which is pretty interesting. Oh, very, very nice. Goes for the frontal splash instead of the cross-up or the grab. Yeah, and, and Integra is a bit, uh, a bit antsy on the mix-up, going for a lot of throws. 
Ooh. Trying to... Oh, very nice jump back heavy kick. Very underused by a lot of Ken players. You see Momochi go to it a lot. And Michael Tan. Very, very good move. Ooh. Oh, he uses the focus attack to change his hurt box and avoid the splash. Very nice tech from uh, Tegra, but just as I say that, that was a very nice air grab by the Tortilla Propeller by Necromantic. He's definitely exerting his, his dominance. Oh, and he goes, gets the stun. Is he going to go straight for the ultra? And he does. Very nice. Very nice round, but a very good comeback by uh, Necromantic. Yeah, he, he, he hasn't uh, used the Ultra 2 in this matchup, which I believe Integra should have used, because he can punish the Q-Bomb with it. And he can, I think he can punish with Rock Tatsu as well. Oh, very nice crouching heavy. Oh my goodness, and that is why Fuerte right there. That move. Q-Bomb. I think Splash is really risky for Fuerte to go to. And that's, that's actually a plus on the FADC. So, I, I think Necromancy needs to go to the grab more. You know, he's going for a lot of splashes, really risky. If he goes for the grab, he can establish something else. Oh, nice. Again, he goes for the splash. Misses his propeller. This is getting really tense right now. You know, Necromancy wants to clutch it out. He's trying to bait Integra for anything. Oh, and just as you see right there. Went for the jab, uppercut, and seals the deal right there. Yes, and now we're now even. We are now even. Very, very good game. You know, very good game by Necromantic. I felt he clutched it out when he needed to, but he needs to make the necessary adjustments. Wait, that's. Oh, is it was that two one? Yeah, that's two one. Yeah, that's it. Oh wow. Oh yeah, yeah. He did win the first game. I forgot about that. Yeah. Good stuff. To so Necromantic. Necromantic stand the lobby. I don't know if he's gonna leave already. He has to go up against Chase the Ace. Oof. And I already know that uh, F Fortes struggles in this matchup specifically. Yeah.